Okay, so this is where I'm going to talk about just direction and displacement. So here I've just got an example of 30 meters. Okay, 30 meters is pointing to the right. So we're going to assume that displacement um, is 30 meters to the right. And there's no like sign in front of this, but basically, you know, that's a positive 30. We don't need to put it in, but that is what that 30 means. Okay, now if we look at the bottom one, okay, we'd see that obviously displacement these are the same magnitude so the the lines we'll turn this one to an hour in a minute are the same size because it's the same magnitude however this one says minus 30 meters so if we know that positive 30 meters goes to the right the negative just means it's going in the opposite direction so my arrow would be going this way so displacement is a vector it has a magnitude of 30 has a unit of meters and its direction, in this case, could be positive or negative, which in this example indicates that it's going to the left or to the right. If this was somebody going to, say they were going to the shop, the shop's at the end here and it was 30 meters away, how handy would that be? Um, they walk 30 meters, their distance is 30 meters. Then they walk 30 meters back, if you're looking at your total displacement to and from the shop, so going to the shop, your displacement is 30 meters. This is my total displacement. We have 30 meters, positive 30 meters this way. We're also looking the way back, so we're gonna add on another, except this time this is minus 30, because you're going in the opposite direction, you're going home again. Um, so you're going to add on the minus 30 meters. Plus 30 meters plus negative 30 meters. These two are going to cancel out because a plus and a minus is a negative. So 30 take away 30 is going to be 0 meters. So your return displacement um, is 0 meters because displacement has a direction, so you have to take that into consideration when you're adding on the two magnitudes.